Good evening everyone and welcome to Prime of Midlife. It's Sunday evening, I am still recovering from the huge declutter that we did before. Bear with me while I check that that's not Patrick telling me you can't hear me. Nope. That's an email. Who's emailing me at this time of night? YouTube telling me that I'm going live. <laughs> So how are we all? I hope you're all well. It is blowing a gale here with Storm Kathleen. Um, so yeah, that's fun. The cat's been at the back door about six times and taken one look and gone, eh, no. <clears throat> so who do we have? Cluster Bungle, good evening. Bridget, hello. Patrick, sweetie, good evening. Nanny Bops, hi there. Slave to no man, greetings. Ben. Thank you for coming along. Lovely to see you. Avril, good evening. Sarah, hello. Oh, Bridget's got it rough. The sound is all good. Thank you, Nanny Bobs. I, I, I still hark back to my first days of live when I didn't realise if I hadn't plugged the microphone in before I started live, then you couldn't hear me. I was never very good at that. <laughs> evening, Justine. Um, certainly here, I'm okay, apart from wheelie bins having a wee wander down the road. That's about it. Um, Mary, hello. Batcave, good evening. Carol, hello to you as well. So as you may have, have noticed with the, the videos that have been going up recently, I am decluttering. And next week, when I do live, I will be coming from my new desk. I am going to have a desk in my sitting room so I can proper sit and do stuff. Do I have an email address? Yes, I do. It is admin at primeofmidlife.co.uk. Look at me remembering. Um, Neighbours trampoline took a tour. Yeah, you'd think people would know that by now, wouldn't you? That in, in times of storm, pin down your Pin down your trampolines, goodness to graciousness. Popcorn, good evening. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to the desk um, because my brain is now, obviously because I've, I've done most of the stuff I wanted to do when I first started here, um, all my big stuff has been done. So now it's like, oh, I can do more stuff for myself. So I want to update the website. I want to update what I'm doing, um, catch up with like personal paperwork and stuff. So a desk was needed. So we are, that's why my big couch is going out so that I can put the desk in the corner. And then next week I will be sitting at the desk. And the cat will be able to come up and sit in the desk with me. At the moment, she's sitting on a stool beside me, pouting, because she can't go out in the weather. Well, she's decided not to go out in the weather. Um, Caroline, good evening. Jill, hello. Sandra from British Columbia, welcome. Sarah, thank you. Hazel is amazing. Hazel has known me for years, so there's no point in trying to tell Hazel anything that's not true. Um, because she just she knows me too well. She knows when I'm telling fibs. She knows when I'm down and I'm trying not to say it. And when she came in yesterday, she was just like, oh, my God, what's happened? So we discussed my world, and she's like, right, let's get it done. And so we went up the stairs to go and do my bedroom, which, of course, had to get all the food moved out of it. And she wouldn't let us stop for a cup of tea until the bedroom was done. Personally, I thought that was just a tad unfair. But, oh, my goodness, we got so much done. Um, so, yeah, decluttering is a big thing. Next couple of nights, I'm going to be doing things like um, I'm taking out half my bed because I'm going to I, – I have, at the moment, I've got my mum and dad's old bed because it was a posh bed, much posher than mine. Um, but it's a zip and link super king. And luckily, my bedroom is relatively large for a housing association house, but – it's huge and it takes up so much space. So I'm going to take off one half. So Patrick won't be staying for a wee while till I get a new bed. 
So I will be just having a single. So it's getting collected on Thursday. It's got to be out for collection on Thursday. So I need to get that separated. I need to get it down the stairs. As I say, I've got the unit to go and the couch. And then that will be the big things gone, which means it will open up the space for the room and I can have my desk and I can start doing things differently, which will be great as opposed to just coming in doing what's necessary and, and having to focus on this stuff. It's like, yeah, me. Good plan. So that has been my weekend. That is the plan for going forward. So hopefully it will go according to plan, although it doesn't normally with me. <laughs> Alan, good evening. Helen, hi there. Um, so yeah, so as you have all seen my weekend and how it has gone, I hope everybody else's weekend has been good and that you've not had anything bad with Storm Kathleen. Honestly, my Kathleen loved the fact that the storm was named after her, obviously. I mean, what can I say? Um, but yeah. Slave to no one, lazy Saturday, busy cooking Sunday. See, that sounds like a good weekend to me. And I do, I do do that quite a lot. Um, but <clears throat> not this weekend. There was so much had to be done. Hi, Donna. Nice to see you. Um, I'll clear out, but so much of mine needs to go. It's daunting. Carol, I know exactly what you mean. That's why I had to have a hazel. Um, I had said I was going to declutter. Um, on the video and Hazel had watched it and she's like, mm -hmm. when are you intending decluttering? I'm free this weekend. Because she knows that my decluttering and her decluttering are two completely different things and if she comes down, I will get so much more done. Um, so, yeah. And Nene, yep, clearing out is stressful. I, I absolutely do understand that. Um, Hermitage, waved when you came past on Thursday. Thank you so much. Now down in Norfolk until family, uh, until Friday. Nice. It's nice when you get to go down and see family. And Alan, yes, it is It is very, very blowy at the moment. As I say, the cat's looked out the back door about 20 times. I have been up and down like a yo-yo. Um, and she still has not decided to go out yet. She's now having some biscuits. So hopefully she'll probably go out when Kathleen comes home, when she finishes her shift. And then 10 minutes later, she'll walk back in. So that's fine. So we'll, we'll, we should all be in bed by 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, putting off the catch-all cupboard for ages now. Yeah, Hazel took one look at what we call the cupboard of doom and was like, eh, no, that's a, that's a, a job for another day. Um, but Patrick can help me with that one um, when he's here because I can say before. You know, I can decide what needs to go. Um, yeah, Carol, I'm quite good at organising other people and useless at organising myself a lot of the time. And Nene, no, absolutely, Hazel is not available for hire, not under any circumstances. Hazel is mine. I am keeping Hazel. So, no. <laughs> Although she did message today and say thank you for all the lovely comments and she was blown away by how nice everyone was about her. But no, you can't have her. She's mine. <laughs> Donna, I can completely agree with or completely believe that. It's amazing how much stuff you have in your bedroom. If it's just normal anyway, mine had all my preps in it. So that was, you know, a bit different from, from normal. Popcorn, yes, 10,000 subscribers now. I'm absolutely shocked and awed. Um, just so kind of everyone. I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by it. Say that big declutter before downsizing. Yep, that'll that'll make you declutter quite quite heftily. And well done you on donating. That is a that is a good thing. Did I clear it and found a baby bath in the loft? My kids are older teens. Yep. Justine, um we had a clear out last year sometime. 
and um, Patrick was here. He put a ladder in the loft for me so I could get up to the loft. And Kathleen, who is about to be 29, that was when I got rid of her cot. Um, I had no intention of having another child. It was never going to happen. Um, but I loved her cot. It was cherry and it was turned wood, um, uppy downy bit spindles and stuff. And it took me till she was 28 before I got rid of her cot. So I, I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> cluster bungle. You could try and clone Hazel if you can get near her, but no. Um, what's in the cupboard of doom? Oh, Hazel asked me that yesterday. Um, cupboard of doom has a tool box, a tool bag of Patrick's to for when he's helping out around the house. There is my laundry bag, the big laundry bags, you know, the tartan laundry bags. I've got one of them full of wool. I have two rucksacks. I think. It did have the crystal glasses, but I think I got rid of them the last time. It has a shelf for my kitchen units in case I want to put an additional shelf in. It has boots and jackets. It now has two rolls of material. I have a roll of hessian and a roll of cotton. And other stuff that I can't remember. Which is why Hazel's like, if you can't remember it, you don't need it. Get rid of it. So, yeah. So it's on the list for further down. Now you have a wet room instead of a bath. You have to buy a baby bath for the pug. Oh, I remember my mum and dad, they had King Charles Cavaliers. And I remember it was the snow because they had long chest hair and they were wandering about in the snow. And they, they ended up with snowballs. And, of course, it pulls the hair. So we... We're lucky in that mum and dad's shower room downstairs was like a wet room. So we just wandered them into the shower and was like, just stand there till we get you showered off to get rid of the snow. So, yes. I, it's, it's amazing how when you get rid of something and you think you're all sorted and then, you know, six months later, you're like, oh, I wish I hadn't thrown that out. But, you know, I've kept my bookcase because I'm a book person and I have a lovely old-fashioned bookcase that was up at mum and dad's and it's proper wood, and it's carved, and it's lovely, and it was just like, that's not going anywhere, I'm, that's that's getting kept no matter what, so yeah. So today I have also, <clears throat> of course, with doing the decluttering, I've done loads of washing, but I have not planned anything for lunches for this week, but as my worktops are covered in tins and things and jars I was looking at a jar of pressure canned chicken and I was like oh I could do that do I have a tin of sweet corn no I don't and I'm sort of don't like just chicken mayonnaise I like a bit of texture to it but I found a jar of sandwich spread Heinz sandwich spread and so I'm going to take some chicken out of the jar and put it mix it with some sandwich spread and mayo and take a roll out of the freezer, and that's my lunch. So, fingers crossed, I've never used the pressure canned chicken um, for chicken mayonnaise, so we'll see how that works. And if that works, that's my lunch is sorted for the next year. Um, books are my weakness. Yeah. Um, Kathleen was saying yesterday, when I was, like, decluttering, she's like, books, mummy. And I was like, what do you mean, books? I have got like one bookshelf and she's like yeah and it's nearly full I was like sweetie are you forgetting when we had a five shelf bookcase in that corner where that unit is a five shelf bookcase out in the hall a five shelf bookcase up in my room plus a three shelf bookcase up in my room hmm. so yes I donated a lot of books because what I find it's like I noticed um when I was down in the caravan Kathleen had bought me a couple of books and they were easy reading, they were quick and they're done. So they will get donated. There's other books that I keep. Um, if anyone's read the Cross Stitch series, now known as Outlander, um, I don't have all of them, but the later books, because mum gave them away, she had the original Cross Stitch, um, but mum gave them away. So I I just have the newer ones, the more recent ones. Coco, good evening. Nice to see you. And thank you for saying hi. 
Um, Donna, yep. Sometimes you do just have to have a real book in your hands. Um, I, I did. I bought a book for when we came up here. I can't even remember what it was now. Um, but I, I was saying to Patrick, I was like, I, I want this book. I want this book. I've, I've read the, the reviews. I want this book. And I'm sitting here and I can have it in my Kindle in 30 seconds. And bless him, he typed in and he went, you know, you prefer a book book. I can pick it up for you in Waterstones tomorrow. I was like, yep, okay, ordered now. Click and collect. <laughs> so, yes, I know what you mean about real books. Claire, good evening. Anna, hi there. Oh, Alan has the garage of apocalypse. See? I think that's perfect. <laughs> A <laughs> slave to no man. I like that. I hope I get to meet just in case. I've got his items. He can have the lot back. <laughs> we do like that. I'm sure you can hear Raven in the background. This is her again. Saying she wants to look outside, but she'll just need to wait. Um, that was her bashing the table. So yes, that has. Prepper mummy, thank you for that. Yes, it was. I honestly, I didn't actually think I was going to make the live tonight. I thought I was going to have to cancel. I was exhausted this morning. I was in bits, but I've been pluttered. That's a thing that I think I need to. We all need to accept as a thing is pluttering, because although my kitchen is a disaster zone at the moment, as I told you, pluttering. And what, by that, I mean, like, this morning when I was doing my tea and toast, because I, I had sort of climbed over things as I was putting fresh washing in. Um, and I put some jars away and I moved stuff. And it wasn't actually a declutter. It wasn't that I was tidying the kitchen. But I was puttering. And I got stuff done. And... I got quite a bit of stuff done between various cups of tea and making Kathleen dinner and things like that. So actually, there's been quite a bit done in the kitchen. Even although I haven't deliberately gone and cleared the kitchen. Now, don't get me wrong. Patrick said he would come through and help put stuff away in the kitchen. However, I don't actually know where it's all going yet. So... I need to clear space for some of it. So there's no point in them coming for me to be wondering about going, I don't know where I'm going to put all this. So some pluttering was done today. Some plans will be had and will be sorted. Um, yeah, Tracy, I if I could do the rafters with books, I would. But I read them so fast and go through so many that I, I have to now sort of slow it down. Um. Carol, thank you for that. That's nice. Prizzy, howdy to you too. Oh, Nanny Bob's good idea. Yeah, you see, I, I can't do that. I I don't last very long with books, even if I don't think that I'm going to to do it. Oh, for goodness sake. Bear with me a second. I need to undo this. See if this cat doesn't go out this time. There are going to be issues. I've done this for an hour. Why wait until now when I'm like, get, get your ass out of here. One, move. Oh. Poopers. I swear that cat has done that for nearly an hour and never walked out the door. Now, now she has gone out. And saying that, it's not as windy and it's not as rainy as it was the last time I opened the door. So, yes. Um, but Nanny Bops, yeah, I like that idea. Um, I just don't last with books um, because if there's a book sitting there, I, I have to read it. Um, Double D, thank you for that. It's very exciting. And yeah, Jill, you were right. Raven won. <laughs> Grandma Mary going to clean out and wipe down my messy refrigerator. Something fun while you tackle a long overdue project. Grandma, go for it. Go for that fridge because mine just needs to be out as well. 
I need to be clearing out my fridge as well. However, there was more important things to be done yesterday. So, yes, go for it. And, and you know, much support and stuff and things. And it won't take that long, actually, by the time you throw everything out and be ruthless and then squishy stuff. It's squishy stuff and wipe it down. Human just let me out. Yes, the human just let it out. And yes, Carol, bye-bye, Raven. Tracy, Raven is a toe rag at the moment. Um, but she's still my baby, so has to be done. Um, oh, we pop up libraries. I like them. I could probably start one of them. Um, audiobooks while you cook. Yep. Um, I did actually do audiobooks a lot. I had a, a job who, where I, I drove a lot. I had a 14-hour driving day. And that was like two audiobooks. And at the time, it was on CD and it cost a fortune. Um, now, where you can get them on online and you can listen to them on YouTube, etc., I I like that as well. Um, but I um, it has to be a very specific voice. There's some voices where I'll, I'll try a little bit of a listen, and it's just like, nope, your voice irritates me. What can I say? Um, keep thinking, what if I need it? It's taking that first step and unraveling the security blanket. Yeah. Exactly. How many items, household items, did you actually remove from your home? Um, I think Patrick took away about 10 bin bags. Um, so, yeah, and then we've got the couch, half the bed, the unit all going on Thursday. So, yeah. Angela, new subscriber, welcome. Nice to have you on the live. I hope you enjoy it. It's Nothing exciting. It's basically me sitting chatting. Um, <clears throat> Nene listening to decluttering books to stay motivated. Good plan. Help sleep and listen on the walk home from work. Yeah, good plan. Oh, Alan, thank you. And evening, Darren. Yeah, I thought I would do the podcast just with video because some people prefer that. Um, let me just see. I'd run out of listening time because you fall asleep and we have loads of listening time not listening. Yep, done that. Um, tend to buy them as new hard books. Yeah, Claire, I, I did that. I mean, I actually had, um, Patrick's daughter got me the new Diana Gabaldon. The, the morning it came out, I was like, you be there when that opens. I want that book now. And I had pre-ordered it and everything. But I was still completely freaking out about it. You know, somebody might take it. So she went to she went to go and get it for me. <laughs> Haven't got much camping stuff. Well, imagine apocalyptic garage, though. Eight-person tent last week to go camping. Check out your survival skills. Well, that I, Anna, I think that's a good plan. Um, I have got no intention of using a tent unless I have to. It would need to be a bad situation for me to do a tent. Then it listens to horror stories to help you sleep. Yep, nope, couldn't do that. Thrown at intruders, clear, good plan, but my aim is so dreadful, so yeah. Cleaning the shower room, oh, Caroline, I remember I cleaned the shower room. I took bleach and a toothbrush and did all the grout. Um, luckily, my whole bathroom is not tiled. It's just a shower wall. Andrew, I would, but my library is very seldom open when I am about. I think it does one late night, but I'm in no fit state to be going to the library when I'm finished work. So, yeah, I haven't been in the library for years. Although I have to say, I did go to the, the big library in Perth a couple of times. It's fabulous. I do like that. Nana Paula, hello, nice to see you. You as well, Tracy, horror books, really? Yeah, yuck. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not good at horror. Although in saying that, I did, 
I did watch some horror movies when I was I was in my teens, and it didn't take me long to be completely disabused of the fact that I liked them. But in saying that, I was an avid reader of James Herbert when I was younger. I read them all, all of his all of his books, from the rats, you know, right through until we got to the Magic Cottage, and I had to stop because that one freaked me out. Because I was I was like that could actually that that's too mystical rather than horror for me. And mystical, I'm very wary of. Um, so I I stopped reading James Herbert. Um, but yeah, do you know, I'm sitting here saying I don't do horror. I actually used to read James Herbert, Stephen King. I, I read them all the time when I was a teenager, which is quite weird. Have I opened any of my canned food yet? Yes. Yes, I've gone. I've had three of my jars of pressure canned meat. Um, we have used that. It's fabulous. And I was saying to Kathleen today when she came back for the the for our, our split in between our shifts. Do you know I've got little tins of minced beef there that are cooked, and to heat that up in a pan, put in some gravy granules, and put on some of the Idaho mash. That's mince and ties in what less than ten minutes. Why on earth am I not doing that? That seems silly not to do that, to go, oh, I can't have mince and potatoes because I didn't take the mince out of the freezer or I didn't do that. It's there. The, the pressure canned stuff, because it's cooked, is 10 minutes. And I could come in from work and have 10 minutes and that would be me. So, yes, I need to, I need to reset my brain to actually use those things. Giant version of an electric toothbrush with Kill Rock spray or gel. What giant version of an electric toothbrush? I need to find that because I used a manual toothbrush. I, I actually stood and did it with a toothbrush. A good point, slave to no man. Um, I have. It's something I do with the house every so often. Is that what if it goes on fire? What if it gets robbed? What's my escape route? I am. I know every escape route out of this house, depending on what door anyone comes in from. Um, open every day of the week, 9 to 9. 9 to 6 Friday, 2 to 6 Sunday. Oh. Yeah, my library definitely doesn't do that. But then my local library is, is a very small town. So obviously the council's not paying that to keep it open all the time. Hurts soft tunes as you sleep helps calm the mind. I might try that. Thank you for that. Watched all the big horror movies with a friend in the summer holidays with a friend when I was 14. They all, yeah, that's that's roughly what I did, and I, I haven't done that. I haven't watched horror movies for ages. Claire just got one of those, makes cleaning my cooker so much. Okay, so I need one of the big toothy things, toothbrushy things. New dentists on Thursday because, oh, gum infection. Ouchie, Alan. You can enjoy sandwiches again. That is a good thing. Check it. You can borrow online. Lots of libraries are signed up to the service and you can borrow free audio or borrow free audio books. See, that is a fantastic thing. Um, that's I need to actually get something to play audio books to my mum in the care home, but something that it's she just presses play and stop. Um, so I need to try and find something for that. Oh, Ben, thank you. Yes, please do hit the like button. Please do hit the like like button. Oh, my goodness, my mouse isn't working. Goodness. Canning for the first time using the Instant Pot Duo Plus as a canning program. Ooh. Well, go for it. Let us know how you get on. Um, and starting off with the 15 pence tatties, good plan. Always a good plan to start off with something cheap and cheerful, um, just in case, because you just never, ever know what's going to happen, because I have had various little adventures, shall we say, <laughs> when I've been doing stuff. Um, Nene, I, I honestly don't know. I know that Instant Pot has a, a setting nowadays. 
Um, Tracy, Mum never really watched movies or films. I think for the last three years that she was in her own house, all she did was watch Judge Judy and never particularly paid attention to it. It was just something on in the background. So, and they only really last for like an hour, an hour and a half, whereas if I can get an audio book, you can get like an eight hour, 12 hour, you know, long audio book. That's why I'm doing The Man Who Walked Backwards, um, which I'm hoping to be able to do the next chapter next weekend when I don't sound quite as choked up. I did think about this weekend, but I'm still sounding as if I've got the cold. So, yeah. Yeah, you on the birthday present to yourself. Lana, good evening. Nice to see you. Oh. Box that looks like a cassette tape that you plugged in speakers or earphones into. Nice. I need to go and investigate my library because I could definitely do that for mum. That would be good. Oh, no. How can it be colder in Norfolk instead of up in Bushnick? Goodness gracious. Tin spuds are great. We did We did the um, air fryer. We, we air fried some of the tinned potatoes today and they were really good. Um, so that's that's definitely a thing. Um, Julie, good evening. Oh, Avril, enjoying the diamond painting. Excellent. I look forward to seeing some pictures. YouTube videos and audiobooks, win win. See, Alan walked backwards to where it was when he was walking backwards in front of a procession of people, seemingly. Um, he was an evangelical preacher type person, which I didn't realise till I read the book. Nobody in my family told me that this relative was one of those persons. So, yeah. Only watch tennis and Leeds United football on TV. Yeah, Caroline, I don't watch very much TV, I have to say. Um, I don't actually know the last thing that I deliberately set out to watch on the... Oh, Reacher. I watched Reacher on TV. That was about the last thing that I did, that I deliberately set out to watch. Um, because it's it's just not something I've done. Normally, I will either sit and watch YouTube videos or I will sit and do some crocheting while I'm doing stuff or I'll be typing stuff up on the computer. Um, TV is not a big deal for me at the moment. Yay, Avril. Email and pics to me. I like that thought, but I am not the neatest of people, so I'm thinking the diamond art might not be one of my better ideas. Um, but crocheting and knitting, I can do that, and reading I can do, and writing I can do. Um, and that's why that's also another reason why I'm getting the desk, so that I can start writing more, um, because I need to update my website. It's a mess. Um, so I want to be able to do that, and I type an awful lot faster than I write, obviously. Slave to no man, never tried an air fryer. Definitely something you should tr try. Well, Nini, that just shows you. £78, pound it was increased to and offered it at £15. Pound. That's just rude. Sounds like you're a local church, Alan. That's nice. Tracy, yep, I watched a lot of DVDs before I actually gave up on the TV. Donna, Yoto Mini, I need to write that down, Donna. I need to write that down because I've never heard of that. And then I need to remember that I've made tea, Yoto Mini. For audio books. You may have noticed my planner and I are becoming very good friends, I have to say. Um, good evening, Gina from Sweden. Nice to see you. Crush the potatoes with the opened can so that you can't press too hard. Oh. 
good plan. Lana, yep, odd movie, doesn't watch TV either. Painting or books, nice. See, it's amazing. I think it's amazing how it's it's changing now. People are not watching TV as much. The BBC are having conniptions about it, obviously with a licensing fee. But also advertisers are having conniptions because they're not it used to be they had such a captive audience on TV, but now they're having to look at other advertising, like online and stuff. So, yeah, that's there's. I think there's a lot of us now are not watching TV very much. Um, Tracy took my plan around Sainsbury's. Oh, Tracy, thank you. Nene, yep. I have done that. I had the TV on the radio on the TV rather than than shows. And um, popcorn. I used the tin potatoes today to do roast potatoes in the air fryer for Kathleen's. Um, Kathleen wanted roasted veggies, so yeah, we had roasted veggies. We had carrots and onions and potatoes, and I drizzled some honey over them. And, you know, that was a can that I've bought however long ago. I think it was probably about 50 to 70 pence for a can of potatoes. We had the carrots that were the 15 pence bag from Lidl's and an onion out of a bag of onions that were 90 pence for like 10 onions. So probably about 30 pence it cost us for dinner tonight, which was great. Um. She would like the bits, may try and sneak one in the work kitchen. I think that sounds like a plan. Goggle box, but it's about all you ever watch. Yeah, see, there's a lot of us that are not watching specific things. Um, Prepper Mummy, yep, I, I have adverts on the lives. I can't not have them. And I have an option of I either decide where they go or I let YouTube decide, but I put it as conservative. So it's at the most conservative I can get it. But I cannot find an option for doing a live without adverts. I, I haven't been able to find that yet. Oh, colouring books and YouTube colour alongs. I did not know YouTube did colour alongs. Look at that. Pennies to dollars. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Oh, Nanny Bops, I got that one as well. Um, the swear word colouring book. I got that a couple of years ago. <laughs> added oil to the potatoes, then added to air fryer. Um, basically, popcorn, what I did was I put oil in the air fryer while it was preheating and then added the carrots, the onions and the potatoes, stirred them all around so they were all covered in oil and then let them cook. Cheapest cans of potatoes tend to be smaller work best. Good to note. We like that. Lana, thank you. I know it's very exciting and very scary and very freaky all at the same time. Caroline, you got one of my planners as well. Thank you so much. I never thought I would actually use it. Um, but what can I say? Um, TV, internet, phone, it comes out of the household. Ouch! That is definitely an ouch, Catherine. Sure, there should be something cheaper. Um, popcorn, there's two ways of doing the YouTube. Before your channel is officially monetized, um, I didn't think it would have adverts, but YouTube put adverts on it anyway. It's just that you don't benefit from it at all. So even before my channel was monetized, before I even thought about keeping it going, there was still um, adverts on my channel. So then once you get monetized, you can choose the type of adverts, the amount of adverts. Um, you can do, you can have like adverts at the start, adverts at the end. Any videos over eight minutes, you can choose whether you put adverts in the middle of them. Um, I don't very often do that. I have done it a couple of times recently, um, just on the longer videos. 
but as far as I know, no, you can't have a YouTube channel without adverts. Either YouTube puts the adverts on or YouTube puts the adverts on and you can get some benefit from it. Unless, as, you, as Nene says, you can pay for premium and have ad-free. Ooh, Nene, crush the tinned potatoes and cheese. Nice. Oh, that'll be Kathleen now. And Lana, good point, because I actually, because my hands were sore today after the decluttering, I was like, am I going to get this can of potatoes opened? Because it needed a potato, a, a, a can opener. Um, and this can opener worked really well. And so I think I need to get another one. Um, Tracy, as far as I know, they are actual potatoes, but it's just the way they're processed. Um. Catherine, thank you for that. Yes, we will be going. Um, obviously, last month I had to use the YouTube money to finish off my stuff. So when I get paid next Friday or this Friday coming, I will be doing uh, making a difference um, because we are that way inclined. <laughs> Cheese makes everything better. Oh, yeah. And Claire, uh, my daughter, Kathleen, absolutely is with that. You're on YouTube Premium, so you don't benefit from my viewership popcorn. That's fine. Um, I'm absolutely blown away by the fact that I make anything from this. This was a very pleasant surprise that has allowed me to help a lot of people in a lot of different ways. So, yeah, I'm up for that. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's amazing how, I mean, things like, YouTube's amazing and it's got so many things. I did not realise it did, um, what did it do? Someone just said it does colour along with me. The colour along with me, I didn't know they did that. But YouTube's where I learnt to crochet, it's where I learnt to knit a hat, it's where I learnt to pressure can, it's where I learnt to do an awful lot of things. Slave to no man. Did you mean super moon? Because I'm thinking super moon. Fixed your dryer from a YouTube video. See, there's so many things. And I think one of the most telling things is the guy who did the, the video, what your dad would tell you or something like that. The guy who does all the stuff that he had to learn himself because he didn't have his dad growing up. Um, and it's like, oh my goodness, that's that's such a great tool for people learning. And so there's so many more YouTube videos now are teaching people stuff. And I think it's great because I've learned so much stuff from here. Um, Paul, I think they added more ads to make them annoying enough that people would pay to avoid them. Yep, probably, Nene. I think they probably did. Yep, Supermoon tonight. Yeah, Slave to No Man. I thought that might be. Oh, look at you. Emma Noonan. Is her Noonan. Noonan, yes. Oh, Donna, you made a beanie. Nice. YouTube still factors in ad revenue from premium members if they watch the full videos. It says it in analytics, premium revenue and ad revenue. Thank you, Ben. I had not read it that much. I had not read anything that much. I didn't. I still don't know what I'm doing half the time with this stuff. I just come on and chat and get really excited when stuff goes right and, and laugh at myself when stuff goes wrong, which it does quite frequently. <laughs> <laughs> um, home solar look at us we are learning so much stuff from youtube which is great um as i say it taught me it taught me how to dehydrate my stuff it taught me not to put oxygen absorbers in sugar bags when i'm using mylar bags pressure canning 
um, all sorts of different things. As I say, crochet, knitting. Um, it probably taught me other stuff years ago that I've completely forgotten about. Um, but yeah. So change I'm presuming that's bulb Claire. Change a bulb behind my car center console. Yeah, see? That's all those things because stupid things like I am unusual in my peer group, and as is my daughter unusual in her peer group, we can change our own wheels. You know, we can put the spare on. That wasn't YouTube, that was my dad. Um but how many people learned how to change a wheel through YouTube? Because it's something that someone realised people didn't know how to do. And I think that's a fabulous thing. Um, because there is different... What worries me is if the internet goes down, nobody's going to learn anything. Um, but that's why I have my planner, I have notepads, I have things like that, just in case. I know Slave to No Man, just in case. He can have all his stuff back on us. Um, but there are certain things that I like to to keep. And there's certain stuff that, you know, when Kathleen was young, it's like, you need to know how to change a wheel. Um, got inspired. Donna, look at you. Small business recipes inspiration from YouTube. That is nice. Van Solar, not the prettiest, but it works. Ben, I'm with you on that one. It doesn't matter if it's pretty or not. If it works and it does what it says on the tin, then that's what needs to be done. Yeah, see, I sent up my T-shirt now. It just needs to be done. <laughs> oh, Slate to No Man, that's wicked. What you like. <laughs> right, Donna, give us a shout out. What's your channel? Or did you not do your channel? Did you keep it? Is it a small business in actual premises? Um, you know, there's a thing. But that is actually a good shout there. Anyone on here who has a channel, please shout it out now so that we can go and look at it. Because I've I've done the thing to keep the comments, you know, so that they come up when people do it later. So if you have a YouTube video channel, why not send us your handle, name? I don't know. What's it called? Ben, deal with it. Send things so that people can find your channel. And then we can all support each other. And that will be a good thing. Pennies to dollars from Kansas. Thank you, pennies to dollars. I shall go find that. Not tonight because... Obviously, after my huge declutter, I am going to be falling down. Um, Facebook page is the link. Thank you, Ben. Could I think of the word link? Yes, if you can send us a link, that makes it so much easier. Um, <laughs> my brain is fried. I have no clue what I'm doing. Honestly. Um, so I got pennies to dollars from Kansas and a Facebook page called The Melting Pot with a Micron Lip Balm Pots as the group picture. So have a look at that. See, this is a good thing. We can all do this. We can we can share and do things. I know Robert's not between the cones. Change my feel in the office wearing fancy nails. The highway guys arise as you finished. <laughs> Claire, yep. That's just the sort of thing that happens. Um, my ultimate moment was um, one of the young lads that was at the youth club um, came looking for my other half Cat was only about 7 or 8 at the time Do you know, is he here, is he here and I was like no, so what's that oh my sister's got a, a flat tyre and we need to change the wheel and I don't know how to do it and I'm like I'm sorry what seriously you know why, why do you not know how to change a wheel why are you coming asking for a guy why can she not change a wheel if she's driving? I found that very weird. It drove me nuts. So we went down and we changed the wheel because that's what you do. Stupid people. Oh, I hear a child. Are you bringing the cat in? Come in. No. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> that would be the child. Just finished her double, being a poor soul. Stick your head over my shoulder and say hello to everybody. Hello, people. This would be the Kathleen, my daughter, for anyone who's new. See? This is us. <laughs> Um, she has just finished a double shift, so she will be going up the stairs very shortly to go blah. Behind the cut, behind it, by the way, okay. can we just point this out? Because I think the general of YouTube should know not to do this. I'm coming, come from, from, uh -huh. to, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Get to that puddle. Mm -hmm. you know, the big puddle. The old puddle. That's the oh, the old puddle. puddle that's the a new old puddle. puddle that's a new puddle. Okay. Yeah. So what does the mini in front of me do? Emergency stop. To then go into first gear. And crawl around the puddle on the other side. Oh, the please don't do that. It's black. You can see if there's somebody coming. As you can tell, Kathleen followed a car that was, like, totally irritating by stop slamming the brakes on just before a big puddle and then crawling round it in first gear. In the dark, you know, where you can see if there's headlights. Stupid people. To be fair, that's kind of normal based on where we live. Yes, exactly, but that's not. Sad. You have many people saying hi, Kat, and hi, Kathleen. Hello! And yes, I am the storm. Yes, storm, bless. It's still storm, Kathleen. Oh, yeah, by the way, I picked all our bins up since they were all having a nap. Oh, camp. seemingly all the bins were having a nap. Um, Claire, totally agree with you. Inability to do basic tasks. Total turn off. Exactly. Popcorn says McDonald's today. No, she wasn't in Perth today. She was working. Working has no McDonald's. Yeah, she had exactly. mummy cooking her dinner. Yes, and it is a Sunday, so not even my bakeries were open. Oh, no. It's just sacrilege. Actually, that's a lie. OJ's was open. Remember, people can see that door. Um, ben asked, was it a BMW? No, it was a Mini. <laughs> but we know what you mean about the BMW. What can yeah, I say? Yeah, they don't know how to indicate. <laughs> I'm surprised their indicator can work. Not so young and dangerous. That would be not so young and Scottish, Alan, but we do like, like that as well. That. You can stay. <laughs> oh. Slave to no man, tell us your Facebook page. We can still follow and join and stuff. Pennies to dollars. Kathleen's accent is so much stronger than yours. Yes. That is what happens when your mother and father work in a five-star hotel. My mother was communications manager eventually, but she started as switchboard operator. So, I was taught from a very young, <coughs> excuse me, a very young age to moderate my accent. So, my accent has been moderated since I was a kid. Kathleen did not have my mother telling her how to speak. But trust me, if she needs to be um, a bit more... <coughs> or a bit less accented, she can be. Charlotte, thank you for that. That's nice. I do appreciate that. <coughs> Mini is BMW. Yeah, Ben, we know this, but he went to, we've gone out to the outside and gone round. But we are in the middle of rural area with a lot of people who moved here from the city, so they don't have a clue. <coughs> oh, Hermitage. Yeah, go for the hot water bottle. Five adult children in bits. I am useless in busy places. Relatives visiting from what on their struggles with the exit. Yeah. Claire, if, if we had elocution lessons locally, my mother would have sent me to elocution lessons. Um, you'll see stupid things. Yeah, like Patrick, he lived in Glasgow for 43 years and still has his Glasgow accent. Um, I don't. I went. I worked in London for a couple of years and they didn't think I came from Scotland until I would come home and then I would go back down to London and they'd be like, don't speak for two days. You're speaking too fast. You've got your accent. We're not even listening to you. Um, in a jokey sort of way. But yeah, it was... My mum used to do... It's butter. They put two T's in that for a reason you could at least pronounce one. It's a dog. Up here it's not. And it's... it's Kathleen and I now do it for fun. It's a dog. Spelt D-O-G. 
Look, my mother used to be horrified at that. So we just kept saying it because that's what you do. Um, but yeah, she absolutely would have sent me to elocution lessons if there had been any up here at that time. Prepper Trade UK. Thank you, Slave to No Man. I shall, I shall add that to my list when I'm going through this tomorrow. She had to have speech lessons, bless. Hull accent. Yep. Um, I mean, I went down to Kent at one point in time and a small person was, when they heard I was coming down, was like, does she speak English? Really? Caroline, you've still got your accent after living in London for 50 years. Elocution, how now, brown cow? Who knew brown cow? Double the speed, different accent. <laughs> Tracy, yep. <clears throat> I find a lot of, I noticed that in London, a lot of them have no concept of other accents. Um still slips into Manchester accent. Okay, I have to tell you a funny here just before I go. So when I first went down to London, I was working for Stagecoach, the bus company. And at that time, they left from Midland Road, which is in King's Cross, which is a very particular type of area at that time, especially. And the buses arrived at, I think it was nine o'clock at night. And they left at 11. So it was a quick turnaround. And I would walk down to go and meet with the drivers. I was in the office, so I'd give them their travel um, list of passengers, etc. And so there I was in my, in the 80s, in my Jenny Barnes suit. It was a pure wool suit. It was bought from Selfridges. I thought I was Erchie. I was the bee's knees. So I'm strolling down along Euston Road, ready to go down the back of Euston Station. And somebody had the audacity, the absolute audacity, to come up to me and ask how much. Well, can I just mention, I did not know my accent went like that. I did not know I still had that accent in me because it came from my boots. I will not repeat what I said because there was many, many swear words in there. Suffice to say that the little man that thought his luck was in ran down that subway station so fast he nearly went head over tails down the stairs. I was not a happy bunny. Um, but yeah. Now, Nana Paula. Why would I say there's juice loose about this house? When the phrase is actually, there's a moose loose about this house. Juice loose about this house is an advert. The phrase is about a little mouse. There is a mouse running about the house. Which is basically, there's a moose loose about the house. There you go, see? That's how it works. But yes, they thought I was soliciting. So as you can imagine... And the other time that happened was, again, I was in a bright blue National Express uniform walking down the road and some guys were curve crawling me. Now, don't get me wrong, my father had well warned me. I had their registration. I had their make and model of car. I had descriptions of the guys and they pulled towards me. And again, I cannot say what I said because my swear words were epic. But they didn't like the Scottish accent either. It was actually quite a protection racket in London in the 80s. Although, as I say, my, my accent wasn't that broad. Um, if it got to the stage, um, you would you would be, you know, sitting having a conversation and you maybe have someone in a bar that was getting, uh, and all right, forgive me for the language. It's not going to be too bad, but... You'd be sitting in the pub and something, you'd be like, ha, ha, ha. you turn and go, who the hell do you think you're talking to, mate? Do you think I'm nuts? Get your arse away from me before I cause you problems you cannot deal with. And then you'd turn back to your friends. And you'd go back to this. And the, the whole shock 
on people's faces when this person who was sitting talking to a load of Londoners, not with a pure London accent, but with a bit of a London accent, and then I'm carried on sitting with my drink. And I, you know, that guy or his friends or any of the tables round about would just leave us alone, which was great when you were a bunch of females out in a pub. So, yeah, I was the protection racket in London. <laughs> so there you go. Right, it is half past nine. I can hear my cat at the back door. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you haven't, please remember to hit the, the like thing on the way out. Um, <clears throat> and I will see you tomorrow night. And if you haven't watched the podcast, do feel free to do that. It's nice, relaxing, sitting, chatting, blah, 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 blah. Donna, I like that thought. Well done, you. Good night, everyone. I'm coming, Poopar.